tattoo aftercare. What to know? June 8, 2017. Most people know that dirty tattoo needles can transmit infections like hepatitis C. But it is less well known that the wound itself can get infected, something that led to severe consequences for one man who died from a tattoo infection after he went swimming in the Gulf of Mexico. The man, identified as a Texas resident in a study in the British Medical Journal, had received the tattoo in his right leg and went swimming five days later. He was admitted to the hospital three days later and tested positive for Vibrio vulnificus, a bacteria found in coastal waters. The man also had chronic liver disease, which hampered his recovery. He died about two months later. Nicholas Henderson, MD, the lead author of the study, says that while infections of new tattoos are not a common occurrence, they are not rare. One recent study found that 3.2% of people who receive tattoos reported at least one infected tattoo. Henderson says the Texas man's case was definitely on the extreme side. People are more likely to contract MRSA, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, among other more common bacteria. He says. Henderson tells his patients that getting a tattoo is similar to getting stitches, and that you wouldn't want to go swimming in a pond after getting stitches. He tells people to avoid swimming in lakes, rivers and ponds, salt water and pools and to avoid excessive scrubbing until the tattoo has healed. Henderson says a tattoo is healed when the scab falls. Most tattoos take on average about one to several weeks before healing, says Doris Day, MD. A New York City dermatologist. State and local health departments regulate tattoo parlors. A 2015 study of tattoo regulations found that only seven states specifically required their public health department to approve instructions for tattoo aftercare. Seven states have no licensing at all and the rest have varying requirements. Most leave aftercare instructions up to the tattoo artist. Henderson recommends using a licensed tattoo parlor to get a tattoo, saying it helps reduce the chances of liver infection. The most common is hepatitis B, as well as other infections like hepatitis C and HIV. Day says that aftercare is important while you are waiting for a tattoo to heal. Wash with soap and water, says Day. Apply a topical ointment and non-stick bandage during the day and leave uncovered at night. Remove plastic wrap when you get home, allowing the area to breathe. Plastic wrap keeps in heat and moisture, allowing bacteria to grow. Both doctors recommend getting medical help immediately if you see any of these signs four tattoos that are on your arms and legs, a red linear band or streak developing and extending from the area, worsening pain around the tattoo five to seven days later, discharge coming from the area, having a fever, which is a sign of infection. Rethink your ring. Tattoos have been around for thousands of years, but they've really gone mainstream in the last decade or so. Still, no matter how advanced the technology gets, a tattoo amounts to a puncture wound filled with ink, and for some people, that can cause problems, from allergic reactions to infections and more. Allergic reactions Some tattoo dyes, especially red and yellow, can cause an allergic reaction, especially when exposed to sunlight. The area around your tattoo might itch or swell, or you could get a rash. It can happen right after you get the tattoo or years later. If it's mild, itchy skin and a few bumps, treat it with a steroid cream. If your reaction is worse or if doesn't go away in a couple of weeks, call your doctor. Reactions to light Some ink reacts to light, especially sunlight. So if you don't keep a new tattoo covered for a couple of weeks, your skin can swell or turn red. This is most common with yellow inks, but it can happen with red. Again, a mild case should get better with time and antihistamines or steroid creams, but if not, check with your doctor. Skin infections If your tattoo artist doesn't properly clean his equipment or uses it on more than one person, you could get an infection. If your skin swells, turns red, or feels tender, or you notice a pus-like drainage from the tattoo, Call the doctor. You may need antibiotics to clear it up. 
granulum is. Sometimes your immune system thinks the pigment in tattoo ink is a threat and sends cells to the area to fight it. These cells clump together around the tattoo and create nodules which are called granulomas. If you see them, talk to your doctor. He might run tests to rule out other causes. He'll treat them with steroids, taken by mouth or as a shot. Keloids. Keloids are areas of scar tissue that are raised from the skin. They can start under the tattoo and spread out. Keloids run in families and are more likely to affect people with dark skin. Treatment starts with steroids, but it can get involved after that, and the keloid could come back. If you have them already or someone in your family does, you might want to avoid tattoos. Bloodborne diseases. Tattoo needles get bloody. If yours wasn't cleaned well between uses, you could be exposed to diseases spread by blood like hepatitis B or C, tetanus, or HIV. Choose your tattoo artist wisely. Make sure needles and other instruments are sterilized and that your artist wears gloves. MRI complications. You may notice that a tattooed area swells or burns when you get an MRI. This is rare and usually goes away without causing problems. Tell your radiologist or technician about your tattoos so they can take precautions. Your skin might not react, but the tattoo could affect the quality of the image. Problems with removal. If an allergic reaction or infection doesn't clear up, or if you just hate the tattoo, you can have it removed. Laser removal technology has gotten better, but it isn't perfect. It rarely leaves scars, but it can change your skin's texture or color, especially if you have a darker tone and it can cause what was a local reaction to spread. 